Hi, welcome to OMG Old Man Golf. Whack the subscribe button to become a golf gangster. Today we're at Ravenel Country Club in Spring, Texas, playing Wolf slash Daytona. This was the right before Christmas in the last round I've played. I went to Florence and it rained and rained and got no golf in in Florence. But it's Italy, so I did have some nice food. But I knew that March Madness was coming, and I was going to meet up with the golf gangsters, and we were going to have three days of golf. And I got to Vegas, and, well, March Madness became March Sadness as they shut everything down, and there was no golf, no gambling, no nothing. And so I came back to Germany and social distancing and such. No golf in Germany either. But it's best to be safe now. This will end. First up on uh, at Ravino is Steve on the 313-yard par four, followed by OMG Golfer, myself, and then Mike visiting from New Mexico. Good ball, good ball. Followed by the debut of Buddy, who. Uh, Play some really good golf today. And last but not least, we have uh, David. So David, Mike, and I hit our drives left of Buddy and Steve, and so we're a team. And I didn't hit a great job, but I'm here up next hitting a six iron from LAW. There's Mike, to the green. My ball came up short and I've got a, uh, a lob wedge on. I hit a nice one. Got a par putt here. Oh, and I make part. it. That's a par, so we don't matter. All right, next up, Mike has a, a par putt. But a little body oh, oh, she oh, makes there. Up next, Buddy has a little birdie putt here. And he makes it for he and Steve to win the hole. All right. All right, Buddy leads the way on the number one handicap. 575 yard par five. With a creek running down the left side. All right, Steve's up next. Followed by David. And then myself. I like seeing that even next to me. Doesn't last long. Miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it. And then followed by Mike. Whoa. All right, I've got LAW in heaven. Really. Not very well. I'm hitting hybrid. Mike uh, brought me some hybrids from. Uh, New Mexico, which is very nice, and I think they're going to stay in my bag because I, I really like them. Next up is a uh, Buddy. And I've got an 8 iron from 130. And I miss the green. I wind up with a boat out here. Steve's got a bogey putt, which he makes. I made mine. David makes his bogey putt. We got a lot of bogeys. And I are partners, so we're hoping that uh, Buddy doesn't make this par putt to win the hole. But he does. So David, Buddy, and Steve win. Playing. Playing heads up golf with these guys is not easy. But here we are on the third hole, 377 yard par four. Buddy goes first. Followed by Steve. And then followed by OMG Old Man Golfer. And now 1 0. And that's going to end too. Here comes uh, David. Mike and David and Buddy are the team on the left, and me and uh, 
Steve are the team on the right. All right, I'm LAW and I'm hitting my four hybrid. I'm kind of liking this club. Next up, we have Steve with the birdie putt, which he makes. Good job, partner. Buddy's got a par putt. It's nice to be in with birdie. David's got a par putt. So, Steve and I win the hole. All right, coming off his birdie, Steve goes first. I was playing long today with the tees way back there. Mike goes next. You better skip. I'm next, hitting my four hybrid. I'm really enjoying these new hybrids. Up next is David. He and Mike and Buddy are the team on the left, or Steve and I again. I've got a little eight iron chip from the side. I get it up there reasonable. Wish I were closer. Buddy's got a birdie putt from the front of the green. That's really a nice lag putt. Comes up really nice. Steve's got a similar putt for birdie. He's a little bit of chicken on the wing. David's got a par putt that slides by. I've got a par putt to tie the hole. And, uh, man, I've had this putt before, but I miss it again. Buddy's up first and he's teeing off. He ain't waiting. <laughs> he's just teeing the fuck off. Next up is Steve. Followed by David. This hole is uh, dog legs left with a little pawn that uh, can catch your ball on the corner of the dog leg. I'm up next. I didn't hit it good. In fact, I didn't hit it well enough to make the water, so that was kind of a piece of luck there. Followed by Mike. So Mike and David are team right. Well, I stayed out of the water, but I really don't have a shot. So I'm trying to hit a gap wedge between those trees and out into the sweet spot. Well, it came out okay. Now I've got a pitching wedge. And I get that up on the green. Give myself a chance for par. Well, not much of a chance, but a chance. So I make bogey. Buddy's got a, a chance at birdie here. Get in there. Doesn't make it. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding. David's got a chance at birdie. <laughs> Buddy's got some good body English there. Um, David makes his birdie and, and he wins the hole. There you go. All right, this is the six T and Buddy will just deed the fuck off. There he goes. 357 yard par four that dog legs right. It's got trees at the corner. Steve is up next. Followed by David. And then by myself. Catch a little short. Followed by Mike. So Mike, me and Steve are the left team. Here we Just go. I've sure got 160 and I've uh, got five iron. I got in trouble last time I didn't wear my spot. And I hit the trap, and it's bad news for me. I'm in this trap, and I don't get out. I come out with a seven. David birdies it. Mike and Steve bogey, and, bu and Buddy makes a par. Buddy leads in the dots at five, followed by All David. Right, the seventh hole is the sandy seventh handicap. It's really the Steve cover up off. Is bad. Followed by myself. That's a better swing. Look at Followed by David. Is that like the shortcut? Everybody's been hitting over there. That is not a good spot. And then by Mike. 
And we got to break somebody, but he's going last, so uh, we'll Good get ball. to see him too. Greatest chicken. And, uh, Garrett. There we go. So Buddy and I are on the right team. We are the team on the right. I've got a long ass way, so I'm hitting six iron just to get myself up there and stay out of the water and stay out of the trap. Mike's got a chip. Gets it on. Buddy's got birdie putt. Come on, team buddy. He makes par. Steve's got a par putt to tie him. Nope. Mike's got a bogey putt, so Buddy and I win the hole. The eighth hole is a 130-yard par three, and Steve hits first. Oh, by David. Actually, Buddy hit first. We didn't catch him. <laughs> I'm uh, up third or fourth, followed by Mike. So Mike and That's Steve and I good. are teams, and I'm in the water. So I'm out. I'm hitting a, my layup from the drop zone here. But the good news for the team left is that Buddy and David hit the bunker oh. on the right, and that's a really tough place. David's made it out. Buddy just barely oh, gets yeah. out. That's a tough spot because that water, you can see it while you're hitting that sand shot, no matter how you, hard you try not to. But he's got a part of the shot. Looks like he kind of chipped it, didn't it? Rolls it down. Ooh, keeps on rolling by the hole. David's got a long part putt coming back. Just thankful he didn't go in the water. Mike's got a par putt. Nope. Steve's got a birdie putt. Steve wins. All right, David's hitting second. Oh. Ninth hole is a long par four. Th number three handicap. There we go. Followed by Mike. Bomb. Bomb. Hit a good one. Steve is next. So Steve, Mike, and I are team left. Oh. Got a shot from the right. left side with my heavenwood. I hit a decent one. Oh shit! Got a lob wedge. God, but I hit it fat. Got a Texas wedge. That's a good choice. That's it. That's it. I put it up there close for a, a bogey. Mike's got a par putt. makes bogey. Buddy's got a par putt and he makes bogey. David's got a birdie putt and he makes par. Steve's got a par putt but makes bogey. So David and Steve, I mean David and Buddy win the hole and Buddy leads the dots at six and David at four. Buddy shot 37 and David shot all right, gangsters, join me for the back nine of this match, followed by plans for 2024.